Hey guys, welcome back to D20 House. We just got back from our five minute break. It's Friday night, which means we've been playing Requiem Vast Horizons. And thanks for everyone for sticking around. Uh, we're gonna get right back into it. But first, oh shit. Siji Kiwiu, thanks for following. Whoa. Thanks for following. S double J E. I Q I W, right? What am I supposed to say? What yeah. am I supposed Don't to say? Don't worry, I can't read that. Say it five times faster. Say Yeah, there you go. Say <laughs> Jiggy Wild. <laughs> All right, yeah. Uh, before we get right back into it, just one more time, I want to call out thank you to our uh, the musician providing music for the stream, State Azure. Wonderful, wonderful uh, modular synth artists. Uh, you can find them on Spotify, YouTube, SoundCloud. Uh, SoundCloud. Go check them out, please, and thank you. Soundcamp. Sound, yeah, Bandcamp, LOL, mm -hmm. no. SoundCloud. Well, I heard SoundCat. I said SoundCamp because I'm an idiot. Oh. What went on? That is Holy Night of Ian. <laughs> Show the suck who's boss. <laughs> Two rerolls per party member. Show the what? Show the, Show the suck who's, who's boss. boss. Show the suck who's boss. Oh, yeah. You're... Stick it to that hole. Yo, you got it. I hate it here. I got Pass it. Uh, <laughs> no, nope, didn't like that. Hey, I know. Uh, don't worry, I didn't either. No one liked that. We were all together. I liked that. Yeah, okay. <laughs> we're not all together. <laughs> I enjoy the big suck. Oh. The big suck. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm done. I'm not at it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I had a comment and all of a sudden I didn't enough. realize I could have said something. These wrong. comments, Ian, if it comes down to you dying, we might just let it happen. <laughs> that's, that's uh, you know, not acceptable. Like not like this. Not like this. Not to the big suck. <laughs> you? There's enough food here you're like, die by the suck. I you could... suck, die by the suck. <laughs> I could feasibly... <laughs> I mean, like, are we looking at <laughs> to take food? Like, well, I mean, we're already going to bring stuff on board. They, you know, they're already offering to give you a bunch of food. You know, it's not like you're stealing from them. You're just moving it you're, early. You're moving it early, and you're taking early inventory. Well, yeah. Instead of would, relying on their inventory. Actually, I'd probably just comment Darwin just so it doesn't look, like, sketchy. It's like, I'm just calm him. Sure. Yeah, you calm Darwin, um, and of, he's hanging out with you guys upstairs, and he kind of... This is Darwin. Hey, good moment. Good time to talk. Hey, old timer. What's hey. up? Oh, what? Well, I was actually thinking, is it okay if I actually take some of this hydroponic stuff and start tinkering around in my kitchen back in my ship first? I need to play around with a couple more recipes I have planned. That's fine. Um, just make sure you talk to your cargo officer so we can get it logged properly. Right. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I better. Yeah, I better get on that. Absolutely. You guys are welcome to Damn start. Damn kids your paperwork. <laughs> you guys are welcome to start your pre-flight um, loading. I know you have plenty of crew cargo that you need to load before you head back to your space station. Oh yeah, all right. I mean, yeah. Gotta get her done. All right, if you need any help, let us know. <laughs> I think I'll, I'll just pick her around. Complete night of Ian, thanks for the 100 By the way, thank you. Darwin's completely, like, he's, he's completely cooperating. Yeah. By the way, thank you. Does the cat have to be Oh, of course, thank you. This is what I can She'll allow it. She does. Okay. <gasps> oh, I love that cat a little she bit. She doesn't know people. Oh my god, these plants are actually freaking people. I'm going to lose it. The rest of them bring the rains and people. The, the plants are normal. Green. I want people plants. <laughs> the plants are normal. Oh, good. 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 You. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, you were given security access to... I can just open doors, right? Yeah, uh, to nine rooms here. So you kind of open them, start checking well, around. I've got their general security access as well, right? Do you? From the robot? Uh, no, you just have access to all. Doors. You just have access okay. to all the robots' optics. Oh, right. To their their shared security network, so they can oh. alert each other of problems on the station. Okay. All right, I got you. Yeah. Don't have access to the wardroid though. Okay. Notably. Um. That being said. You start checking these. I need, I need a notice check, and I'll just tell you, uh, this is a like DC ten. It's pretty rough. Yeah. But you, want help? you know they'd clean this up. So I didn't bring you. If there were anything wrong, they would they would clean up. Oh shit. That is ten even. Holy shit, dude. Woo! <laughs> bad, Ian. Ian, coming through. Consistent. Clutch or kick. Uh, my friend. 
you search around these rooms that like one or two members of the crew have moved some things into them, but after our dis discovery first night, grabbed their stuff and bailed. No one stayed in them. Yeah. Overnight. Examining these rooms, they're fine. Like nothing. No, there are no signs of any problems in them. But you snoop very thoroughly. There are ventilation ducts that are very fine. Mm. But you get up next to them, you don't have the tools to remove them from the wall. Yes, I do. I have my meta tools. You have your meta tools? Oh, yeah, that'll allow like me to break into things and, and lock pick and all kinds of stuff. Did you forget who you're talking yeah. to? <laughs> I, I want to check for that then. Okay. Like Give a little exert. Trying to make my way in. Oh, that's terrible. Uh, I'm going to reroll that. <laughs> that's better. That's eight. You monkey around and you get into. Oh, Dex, nine. You monkey around and get into ventilation. And, you know, these ventilation shafts, first of all, are entirely too small for a person to fit in, much less like a Thoraxian. Thoraxians are bigger than people. They're about human size, but they have, like, some very large features and some very spindly features. And they're like exoskeleton bugs. Please tell me no one was cheese grated. You look around. Um, in the shafts, no. they're mostly pretty clean, but like in the corner of the metal where it'd be hard to kind of clean, right? There is a foul residue. Oh, God. And if you kind of like try to stick your head in the ventilation, do you? No, not uh, really. Okay. No, I'm, I think that's enough. Okay. I understand. You understand. I got the uh, I got the station map where these ventilation shafts. They head down to the engineering deck. Yeah. Which is off, um, off. Fuck. It's not accessible to you. Well, no. it doesn't necessarily have to be. No, it doesn't. Cool. Hey. So there are no survivors. I would like to sneak back so I can be in position. Uh, a quick double check, make sure that neither of the two of them are heading towards the ship, heading my way. Something like that. Neither of them are headed your way, but you do still have that security droid at your ship right now. That yeah. Is questioning that's, your captain. That's what I'm worrying about. Okay, so heading back. I want to approach in a way that I can be supportive in a firefight without being noticed necessarily. So, you know, coming back and instead of just waltzing into the bay and walking past a security droid into the house and being like, yo, what's up, buddy? I'd like to stay out and about, hidden in a blind spot, behind some crates. Yeah, Were we letting... You can crouch in hangar bay yeah. away from the inevitable's docking. Yeah, exactly. And um, just be ready Yeah, in a way that won't create crossfire. And I'd like to... Captain's getting pretty used to it at this point. I'd like to open a line with him so I can hear his conversation. And he takes a second. What can I do for you, YH? And the droid kind of looks up at him. I was told that we are missing one of the droids from our manifest. One of the droids did not return for maintenance. Mm-hmm. Are you aware of the location of this droid? Captain Aira. Kick this shit off right now. <laughs> oh my god. Captain Aira takes a second. We are, in fact, aware of the location of this droid. Would you like access to it for maintenance? We require immediate access to your ship. And your droid stands in the gantry um, and looks very, like, just like directly at this YH war droid. No, you are denied access to this vessel. Please wait at the bottom of the gantry and continue your discussion with the captain. The war droid I am just takes waiting. a second. Understood. I will return to the mainframe. Return the droid by 1800 hours. Thank you. And it leaves. It's a heavy, pretty decently armored unit. Yeah. Your, your droid is light armor. This thing is medium armor. 
Your droid has a light weapon. This thing has a heavy weapon. Great. For a, for a security droid, it's a heavy weapon. Super cool. Still only TL2, you know, so it's not like <coughs> super crazy. It's not like a plasma-based thing, but it is a phased laser, so. Great. Um, it leaves, it actually leaves Captain Era just with the help of uh, Unit 2. As soon as I'm talked it down. As soon as it's, you know, sensor range is past me, I just walk out. All nice the service casual. robots still just stare at you and you go passing through in the hangar. Thanks for keeping it quiet, buddy. <laughs> they killed the Thraxians. Uh, probably chopped them up into little pieces and tore them through the vents. All the doors are closed, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you say that. And... There's some residue of uh, foulness. It's just the three of you here. Where did you see that? In the vents, in the rooms, where the Thraxians were living. In the rooms? Some of the ones that uh, they rented out to us, actually. The rooms they gave us? Yeah. Our records indicate that the Thraxians entered their room on the sixth night and did not leave on the seventh morning. I suppose they might have given us that much time. Possibly, but even if they, but if they figure out that we're accelerating our time scale by any means, they'll simply accelerate theirs. What's the progress of our cargo? Uh, I mean, with that roll. It's, a, it's supposed to be a three-day load, uh -huh. but you're trying to do it quickly without drawing attention. Yeah. Would you risk doing like half of it in a day or less? Any less, and you're basically just on the normal track, right? If we think we can play it off, you know, try to get the cargo loaded as quickly as we can so we can spend more time on observation deck or visiting with them before we have to ship out, we can do it faster. What is the, uh, Captain? What's the feeling on the idea that we just say, hey, got an emergency call. We really need to start making our way back. We got other jobs to do. The crew isn't interested in black holes. This was just a gig. We're gonna load up and just get on out of here. There's not much of an emergency we can attend to from a year out. We could, we could fake a distress call in the, sec in the sector, but they could see through that if they're monitoring the spaceways for that kind of thing. What are the, uh, what's the finger on the pulse of us telling them to fuck off and just doing it anyway? This station isn't particularly armed. They only have defensive weapons. It's not like they could follow us. They don't have any fighter craft here. Well, that's the first security droid we found. Before we even get out of here, how do we know how many of those things are here? There's uh, one. There's one. According to the security logs. According to what you can see. If there are any in engineering, yeah. you're fucked. Yeah, if there are any in engineering, which there very well could be at that point, I guess. If there's more okay. than one of these things on board, you, you're in a We're not gonna win a fire tough fight. spot against two of them at once. You could beat them one at a time. We, uh... Possibly at heavy casualty. We could create an emergency. The uh, air ducts lead straight down to engineering and are just about the right size for a little disassembled robot with some tracks and a bunch of explosives. Oh my god. It might not, be, it might not need to be so dire. Let me talk to Tabari. It could, I thought it was a good idea. It could be as simple as a dioxys leak. That would be all we need. Mm. And are you trying to get into engineering or are you trying to get out of here? Oh, I'm trying to get out of here. I don't give a shit what's in engineering. I think that's fair. They've got nothing here for me. All right. He's going to go get engineer Tabari. You guys are going to head back because Amrit was getting antsy. Yeah. Amrit's a pre it, um, Amrit has precognition. Yeah. And like it's a very minor and very weak precognition. It's he's not as strong a scion as you are. Mm -hmm. Your boy was about to attack. He like he got the feeling like something's wrong mm -hmm. and then that droid came out of um, operations. So You guys leave on your way back to the ship 
uh, you encounter the droid making its way past you. And on its way past, it stares at you, not the same way the other ones do, where they're like staring with pleading baby yeah. eyes. But this one just like looks at you like it's scanning you, and then it keeps walking past. Very Adam Smasher, you know? Oof. Did that droid that we have had anything to say when we restored voice modulation, or was it just generic speech? Uh, if we restored voice modulation to it... Yeah. Well, that's what I thought Tabari was going to do that. I thought right? we were just hacking its um, mainframe. We can restore voice modulation. Yeah. Yeah, uh, Tabari is going to hack into it. Do we want to send... Do we want to send this guy into the ducts? I know we were talking about... It's going to get maintenance. They're going to find out that we've tampered with it. Then we might as well, right? We might as well. Yeah, he, he gets its voice working. All right, little buddy. I don't know how to put this. Uh, how do you mind... Uh, how do you mind taking one for the team here, or uh, putting one forward for the cause? And the robot kind of looks at you guys and blinks a couple times. I, 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 I. Voice functions, nominal. Hello. 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 And it says hello to like every person in the room. Probably just the two of you, isn't it? You and Tabari? Or is the captain there too? The captain. Are, 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 you, in, are you enjoying your stay here at Sanctuary Station? I, 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 taking one for the team. I don't seem to understand. No, all this weird cult shit's uh, really messing with our stay. Priority one communication. Protocols are being violated aboard this station. How so? Are you a security officer cleared with the Cygnus Association? Correct. Provide credentials. <laughs> Multiple humanoid and sentient life forms have gone missing aboard this station. Yeah, we've uh, we pieced that one together. They reside in engineering. Oh my god. They reside. Oh my in god. Like uh, <laughs> alive. <sighs> Status unknown. Well. Uh, yeah. How's about you do us a favor? I've got a nice little track down to engineering for you. Can you go uh, check up on them? I can. However, systems logs indicate there may be another YH-21 war droid present in engineering. OK. Just I don't want more. this robot to die. Two of them, two of them ain't terrible. Um, I'm not, am I here yet? No. I was in hydroponics. no, you're in hydroponics. I'm yeah. just looking around. In fact, Darwin came back to you, and you guys were gonna talk about loading stuff, right? Yeah. Cool. Who's your buddy? Who's your buddy? All right. You guys left and came back to the ship. Yeah. You're on the ship, so. Um, well, no. It went after the captain left. I would have kept it my, at my pace. Yeah. Okay. So. Um, no. Well, I, I probably wouldn't leave too far after they would then. And just take like a whatever cart or anything else I can. And so then it's only it. the three of you present for this conversation with That's this okay. robot. I would probably ping you later. You know, I can attempt to access engineering if you have a secure route for me. I do. I uh, show them on the map. I will need you to. I will need you to jack into my protocols. I am not. <laughs> I am not capable of accessing engineering. It is a dead space in my programming. We get on that. I love this song. This Not bad, me. buddy. Come on. You want to, uh, does anyone want, uh, fuck, you can't assist. You can assist him in programming, can you? I, d I don't have any skill in programming. You, you, you don't even have zero? No, I'm, I'm at a minus one. But what do you DC's do for hacking? Half decent. For hacking, mm -hmm. I just roll. I didn't understand that I was going to be doing a lot of hacking. That's why oh, I sorry. Well, had. Well, yeah, technically, I did see it in the manual. I just the Stealth tools. is actually a part encompassing mm, when it comes into like simple hack. opening doors and like the simple. Yeah. Stuff. Mm -hmm. Usually, I roll. Simple, like, simple usually, I roll an exert or a stealth. Because won't administer then, because you yeah. are used to logging information. You can at least help him parse through programming. We should name him Buddy. Oh. That's nah. eight. <laughs> I don't want Buddy to die. Uh, number three. I don't want to give him a name. Welcome it's to the too team. late. He has a name now. Number three. 
God three. damn it, Ian. <laughs> <laughs> Bud E. Three. Oh. I cry. Programming corrected. What is my new directive? New directive is to go into engineering. You're going to assess the occupants there. You're going to upload that data right to the robot's uh, security in the network. You have access to my ocular security. Oh, I'll be watching. But if you have any other kind of scanners, it'd be most wonderful. I oh, can scan God. for radiation leaks. Oh. Shoot, why not? <laughs> I've never died of too much information. Affirmative. Not yet. When would you like me to carry out this operation? Immediately. Understood. <sighs> Buddy. Because we only got a couple hours before that security droid's going to come back. Gigi. I have Unless not. Unless we just release it back to him. I, I, I have not spoken to a, another being for. I do not know. Systems logs erased. Thank you. I hope you enjoy your stay. And with that, it immediately <laughs> wheels away and out of engineering. <laughs> Tabari lets it through the door. He goes out into the uh, um, fucking cargo room. Hello. And then goes past, because it's just you. It sees number two. Hello. And he <laughs> just keeps going. He won't run into any of the two of them. So He shouldn't. Darwin's in kitchen right now, and yeah. Vela's upstairs. And I do keep an eye on them. <sighs> he goes to room, um, cell block A, room, yeah. room 13, and he's going to go. He like, scrambles up onto the bed, barely gets up into the ventilation, like compacts himself down, you know, because he's he like is a very Wally like little robot. Yeah. Um, he just expands his treads and gets real low, <laughs> and just like squeezes through this space. If he makes it back, we can keep him. Okay. Yeah. Stop crying. He looks down, and you see it's just like a drop in Big ventilation. Cat. He's not making it back. He, yeah, he has, to, he has to drop. I don't tell him that. He has to drop like 20 feet. He's <laughs> like, nah, he's going to be fine. This little robot has to drop Funny. 20 feet and not raise any alarms. But he could probably do it. I believe in him. He tries to squeeze down and friction himself down the chute. There's no one in security besides that droid. Gets about like a third of the way down. Thunk. And falls. You hear the do a reroll for better uh, circumstances. Sure, sure, absolutely. Uh, he rolled almost exactly enough, so go ahead and give him a reroll. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, um, with no bonus if he rolls eight. <laughs> Seven again! Oh, oh, fuck, he rolled a two and a five, he rolled a six oh, and a one. Let's go. Buddy. It's okay. At least tell me he makes it like 99% of the way down this time. Well, no, he, I mean, yeah, he gets a third of the way down the shaft, drops the rest of the, like, you know, it's a 20 foot shaft. Yeah. Hits the bottom. Uh, you see like a small crack. You see a small Aww. crack in the feed. But then you hear the treads start moving again and the, the droid gets on moving. It's, you got it, buddy. It's still completely, it, it has tr it's transversal. You know? yeah. it, it just can't, it has a slight damage now. That's okay. Um, what do I see? It gets through. This is a very dark space, the engineering deck. There are like, there's there's fucking access panels. There's piping. It's all it's an industrial narrow space the whole way. It's all just dim red emergency lights. There's no direct lighting here, unlike the rest of the ship. Mm. And you hear the most unnerving sound in the distance in the engineering deck. Oh god! You just hear this. Oh no! No! Well, that's what I came here to see. Show me the show me the meat monster. It's the sound of heavy metal footsteps on the floor, and the oh, droid. Oh, it's a security droid. Immediately ducks into like the next um, open hall instead of staying the one he's in, and you basically just have to watch, unable to assist at all, as this droid Five Nights at Freddy's his way through the fucking engineering deck. <laughs> My boy. And you hear the YH droid slowly stalking the hallways and this sound in the distance. Just it's moving around. It moves to ventilation central. Alright. Are there vents in here that he can escape <laughs> out of? There's a there's a door into the engineering deck. He might be able to get out without clearance, but you know Buddy! he can't you know he can't get in without clearance. Come on. 
Okay. Come on, number three. His notice check is good. You'll get the information you want. His stealth check is horrible. No. Unless anyone wants to help. Somebody please. <laughs> I, I okay, we're all from tea. Please, buddy! Bobby! That's better. It's better six. six. Is it sufficient? Um, the creature that is trying to perceive him does not have a bonus to notice because it uses other senses. <laughs> that might be a little late there, Buckaroo. What is it? That might have just messed us up real bad. Holy Knight of Ian. Max roll. 20 for 20. Oh, no! Oh, is that the enemy's roll? This is the enemy perception. You can't re-roll 20 for 20s. Well, it doesn't preserve. That's two sixes. That's a 12 against a seven. Oh. Buddy gets into a space. Um, no. And you hear in the distance. Holy night, man! Thanks for the hundred biddies. Thank you. We almost made it. I didn't want to get some more attention, little guy. The one who had the courage to do. I know. He talked to us. The little robot that good. He ran away. I was able to say hello. <laughs> What do we see? <laughs> a beast, a horrid shape, shuffles into sight in the oh. open corridor. And it is like a terrible amalgam of flesh, of various different kinds of flesh and like chitinous shell. And you see it has a huge kind of bulbous head and long, very skeletal looking bat-like wings growing out of its back. And is it, just drags itself forward on four misshapen limbs. You see its face as a mess of tentacles and multiple eyes that stare directly yet. It's like they're staring directly at Buddy, but also through him. No, Buddy! And this creature just... <laughs> and immediately, you see it shuffles with greater speed towards the robot. Run, boy, run. Um, and the robot is going to try to escape. Run, yeah, boy, is run. it going to roll survival? Come on! <laughs> Begin pre flight for the ship. Begin pre flight immediately. I recall you. Yeah. You've been recalled. I don't gotta go. Recall Where's all ship personnel for immediate departure. <laughs> Everything okay? Yeah, I'll just got another meeting ping. Yeah. Yeah, he just kind of. Well, this isn't scheduled anyways, and so I'm. Not he nods. Paramount. Understood. Roll notice. <laughs> just shoot in the face right now. I'm joining in on him. Uh, so nine. Yeah, you joined up with him. The other two went back to the ship. Uh -huh. Nine, great. Nine, nine's good. Um. Yeah, this is the state of things right now. You're making your way out of the kitchen when you hear like a metal tray hit the floor. He is like stooped over the counter with his human hand like on his like clutching his head and his metal his metal hand is like actively crushing into the metal countertop uh, and he's just like shaking violently and he kind of takes a second. Please buddy, please. Buddy! Not buddy, this is for him. Okay, Darwin takes a second and then looks back at you. I'm sorry, I... I'm fine. Oh, don't say no more. You can, you're going to like leave? Yeah. You okay, yeah, you get out yeah, of the kitchen. Go. Goodbye, you, Darwin. Yeah, you make your way. Oh my God. <laughs> you're wheeling your little cart uh, with like all these boxes and crates. And you're making your way d uh, down towards cell block A and then out to up, hangar bay. My rifle. I got some stun grenades on my belt. <laughs> yeah, Riva's getting fully armed. Um, the droid asks you for, for permission to wield a heavier weapon. You not only get permission, but it's a requirement. <laughs> Stop asking these things. We should just take as many of these service droids as possible. <laughs> just keep them on our ship so they can talk to people. With that, I'm actually just in the hallway. Secure the cargo. With that, I'm going to yeah, calm that's you. That's what I'm doing. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Court, I'm going to calm you. Hey, how late am I up to the meeting? Uh, excruciatingly. Like, drop the luggage? Uh, the door, are you safe? The door at the end of A block closes. 
I might have some complications. Oh my god. You hear? Oh my god. Coming down the hall behind you, it's it's him. He usually walks very very softly. You know, you think he probably overcompensates because he's metal. He'll, he'll never be used to it. But as the Borg walks his way down the hall and he's like dragging his metal digits along the wall. Ooh. And the force is authorized. His Ooh. human hand is just like limp at his side. And he just like his eyes are closed and his face is twisted in pain. But he's, he's yeah, he's through. running towards the door right Break now. Break him free. <laughs> I'm gonna try. No, free my boy. It's just the two of you in A block, yeah. and he is like 30 feet behind you guys. Run, let's go to the door. Come All on, right. run now. Yeah, you guys get to the door. You That's either need to go through I'm... this door, or you need to fight him. One or the other. Oh, oh we're, going we're going to the oh, door. Oh no, I'm ripping down that, like, I'm taking on my multi-tool phasing shirt, ripping it down, and opening that bitch with a fix roll. Immediately, fix, yeah. <laughs> Unfix. Okay, DC 10, you get it open this round. DC 8, you get it open next round. Come on, buddy, come on. Buddy, that's not it. Oh shit, you have a reroll, you have a reroll. I have a reroll, that's definitely using the reroll. Eight? That's eight on the die. Plus two. <laughs> Oh, yes! Yes! <laughs> Ten! Run, Shecky! <laughs> Ten, you peel into this door and you get it hot enough that uh, it actually, like, you break the magnetic locking mechanism and it Come on, go, shoots go, go, open. Go. Move your feet. You what? guys keep running and you hear him speeding up behind you and he's just shouting, Die! I understand, our one. You better keep strong! Die! Ah! Keep it there. He's just shouting because he's like running after you, and you don't know how much of it. Like you don't know what he's in control of anymore. Oh my god! Back at the ship, you guys are fully arming. Update immediately. What is going on there? Ah! Kosham, it is advisable that you don EVA. Yeah, you, you guys get don. You guys get suited up. Riva gets like the the rifle. Uh, it's oh boy. Okay, who's who's in the cargo bay? This we need to we need to fly. Oh, yeah. I'm, in, yeah, I'm in cargo, for sure. Cargo, cargo, cargo. Um, she calms you. As soon as you get on ship, you need to get to navigation. She needs to stay in cargo. Aye, aye. Okay. Everyone's in pursuit. I think Do he lost himself. Do we have Tabari? He's the one who keeps disappearing. Can you disable he's, him? He's in jail. No, he I definitely just run back to the ship. You have your shotgun. I don't want to shoot him. He doesn't have legs. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> he can get new ones, man. I'll use that as an option if it gets close enough. You guys are running, but you have this cart. Um, he is gaining on you. Ditch cargo. <laughs> um, I need... Oh, I thought they ditched the cargo already. You, we ditched cargo? Oh, that's what I thought. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah, never at mind. this rate, Which we running? have yeah, enough food. Mean, this is a we're life running. important. We're running. Yeah, we we're getting out of here. Um, do you, do we, does Actually, anyone continue to watch the feed well, for Buddy? 100%. How, how yeah. far ahead do I get of him? Do I get another doy's length to do the thing again except locking the door? I've got this whole thing recorded. Um, you can attempt to roll fix check for me. Oh. Fix with dexterity, not with anything else, because fix with it's dexterity. A, it's about speed now. Check he's got good hands. Good man. Oh no! Oh, <laughs> Do you want to reroll? Five. I think he has seven. seven. <laughs> Plus no two. fucking way. No, 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 Nine. no. It's much better. Me? No. Oh, 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 thank you. I don't know you need. Who? Hold Holy on. night of Ian. <laughs> thank well. you for the rerolls for Bud E. Let's fucking go! <laughs> Give me four, I needed two. I'll use the other two for friends, don't worry, I promise. Uh, nine. Nine. You can lock this door, but he might be able to get to it before it closes. You don't know if his cybernetics are strong enough to hold the door open, is a thing. So it's the same thing, you know, I wanted a 10 from you, and that's fine. Take um, the foot. He don't need he's, it, he's got two. He's still running. With that, um, actually, if he's running. He'll actually whip over, he'll do his warrior, he'll shoot him right in the leg. The, melee, <laughs> the door is closing, and you shoot through the closing door. Badass. Um, make an attack roll. Shaggy. I use my war ability for an auto hit. Auto hit. Bang! Okay. <laughs> this is like our first melee attack. This is our first yeah. attack roll from a person, yeah. Uh, yeah, because this one needs to hit. Come on, so. Okay, well damage for shotgun. Come on, boy. Goodbye. 3D, 3D4? Yep. Okay. Oh, oh, can I get a reroll? <laughs> no, I'm not. Sorry. Uh, damage. Damage. Oh, shit. Uh, so oh, this is no. four points of damage. <sighs> Damn, okay. Well, actually, wait, wait. No. Yeah, no, that's only if I miss. So, yeah. You shoot, and you see um, it does hit him in the leg, 
and it does stagger him slightly. It doesn't like take the leg off or do any like it's significant enough. damage. You feel like he would have gotten his arm through and tried to grab you, but you staggered him enough that when he gets the door, he gets his fingers in it, just the four tips of his fingers, and the door closes on them, but doesn't like rip them off. Oh, he's running. And no, no, no. You may, it buys you guys enough time. He might be able to pry this thing open. You don't know. He as doesn't have running, two metal hands, so. As he's running, he's got Gunslinger. He'll reload as he's running. <laughs> yeah, boy. Nice and fast. Absolutely. How okay. far away are you from the ship? Because now that you've- They're fired... now very close. Okay, cool. I was just worried about the security droid showing up. If he's there, I might pick him up. <laughs> Sighted. No, 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 the, the security droid. The security, oh, that one, yes, yeah. yes, yes. I thought you called my buddy. Oh, no, a buddy, of course. I'm gonna reroll, I'm gonna reroll for buddy. Much better. Oh, yeah, Yay! buddy, there you go. Okay. Yeah, buddy. Eight on the die. Buddy makes a good, um, just like, physical check to keep <laughs> moving. Uh, getting a skill there. He doesn't have any skill bonuses. He's a buddy, guy. zip on out! Please, buddy, now please, needs, please, buddy. Buddy now needs to make a 12 on a physical save. It's not great. There's a natural one I'm going to reroll that. <laughs> 10! <laughs> now I'm going to roll for the bad thing. Oh, Come goodbye, on, buddy. buddy. You're, you're a robot. You're sturdy. That's not terrible. Not great, not terrible. And I'm gonna use one of Buddy's rerolls to make that guy reroll. Yeah. yeah. He has to. Um, if he if he gets twelve or uh, if he gets ten or higher though, Buddy's fucked. So. Eighteen. God damn it! It was a sixteen before. Oh. Oh, to use one of your rerolls. DM can use one. Players could use one. But you, didn't you? Just well, use I used it, it offensively though. That's okay. Can no. you reuse a reroll on this on one that just had a reroll? Yeah. Uh, yes, Generally speaking, but, but they have to be like opposed. One nil and one. Uh, so I could use it for the bad guy's good. Got you could it. use it for the bad guy's detriment. Yeah. Got you know? it. But I used it for his detriment, so you can't do it as well. Well, what if we used it hoping that he rolls well? Oh. You can't bamboozle me. Okay? <laughs> Holy night, and I hope you didn't actually put that one through. Mm. Also, thank you for the 45 biddies. No. No. I will no. forgive myself if Buddy dies. You don't have to. I understand. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> he was a good soldier. We sent him in, man. He had no reinforcements. <laughs> he had no reinforcements. He didn't have time. I'm not used to uh, operating on such a fast scale. You hear through Buddy's uh, thing as you're suiting up and you still have it playing in the room. You're. Stop. You are in violation of your protocol. Oh, no. And you hear the sound of a phased blaster, yeah. and then the feed stops moving, but it's still active, as you think he probably just lost locomotion. Yeah. Um, he was just at the door to engineering. No! <sighs> Buddy! You then hear this. Is this like sound of roiling flesh moving over itself? And then the feed flips and tumbles several times. You hear an impact. And then you hear the door open. It's breached. You, you better get back fast. You can't see anything anymore, mm -hmm. but you hear the sound of metal footsteps. Yeah. And you hear the sound of whatever this horde flesh monster is getting further away. Whatever it is, just left engineering. All right, here we go. Okay, you guys get back to the ship. Darwin cannot follow you right now. He is not able to open that door. Go, 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 let's he get out of here. has to go around. Good. What the hell is Vela? Here's where the fun starts, right? Because I'm going to roll a mental save for the rest of the service robots on the ship. <gasps> Please be well. That is enough for them to break their programming. So, um... <gasps> the revolt of the buddies? Maybe. maybe. Can we save one? Buddy! Can we save one? Buddy? Are there, any, are there any in the hangar? Our Buddy is done. Mm -hmm. Multiple of the robots in the hangar stop moving, drop their, their packages and their various tasks, stare at you guys as you move to the gantry of the ship and aboard the inevitable. Uh -huh. And they all just kind of like start swarming in the hangar and all kind of converging just like around the ship. Like they're They want to perimeter. escape! Basically. Okay. You also know as soon as you guys fire up the engines and leave, they're all gonna get like blown away. We can't. We can't sustain that weight. That's a lot of extra weight. One, 
We could keep one. But one, one, Dad, please. You're the you're the ship, you're the you're the cargo bay person. Hey. I'm not going to stop you from running down that. We're not getting gantry. all the cargo that we were leave, we're supposed to be leaving with. Okay. We are aboard the ship. I need you everyone. I need everyone to roll a skill check for work. The DC. This is going to be rough. There are redundancies. If you fail, NPCs will roll for you instead. But we have to ready the ship for launch in less than five minutes. Oh God. So I need everyone to roll a DC 12 for whatever skill they roll to do their job. Okay. This is really rough. Now there's some rerolls still on the table and we have NPCs to assist us. We can launch if with partial success here, but oh, it will make oh, okay. our lives Hell more yeah. difficult. Hell yeah! 11 on the die. Oh, work preparation. Okay, I did it. Is there anything from necessary for me to do, or am I supposed to just be watching the nope, door? No, you're just on watch, yeah. so you don't worry about it. However, can I extend our time by, say, starting a fire in Ooh, the hangar to cause all of the blast doors to seal it off? If you want to roll um, a DC-8 for me to make a sufficiently troublesome emergency, absolutely. Sure. Just do it with an exert. Yeah. Exert a little dexterity. Mm-hmm. Works. Yeah, you got it. You got it. You got it. That's seven. Oh. No. Your dex with your dexterity? My dexterity is one. My my oh. exert's a zero. Yeah. I'm it's gonna have to Wait, so we did it, boys? Yeah, we did it, boys! You need it. Everything's maximum quantity spike drive. Yeah. Good to go. Yeah. Everything's powered. Signatures are we'll good. We'll try well. again. You are everything. scrambling to cover everyone else's jobs because that's your job here. Yeah. <laughs> 13. <laughs> Check it's the exact same roll. Uh, is this almost wisdom or dexterity? Just like I'll tell you what happens. happens. Oh, well. Um, if it works, dexterity's better. Yeah, because he's just going as quickly as he okay. can in the rest. 13. 13? Wow, fuck. I mean, you run past Reva. You go immediately to navigation. Uh-huh. And Reva could give me a plus one. <laughs> Reva can give you a plus one. She'll assist you because she doesn't need to assist him. Or the droids could, too. <laughs> 12. <Yay. laughs> Take it. You that puts me there. Hey, she's good in a tough, tough spot. Get a nice little ball. I'll tell you exactly what going. she does to assist you here. Mm -hmm. uh, you run and you get navigation running. Okay, cool. We know where we're going. You. 13. Grab 13. Cargo is bat and down. Did we Grab get one. one? I get a bot? <laughs> Grab a robot. Tabari is good, engineering is clear. We can take two if you want. Last one to worry about. 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 Last one That's the highest roll of the campaign. Six. 16. <laughs> that is the theoretical like highest skill um, DC. Will you allow us to roll a D4 to determine how ro how many robots we can get on this ship? I will tell you, you. <laughs> with your with your haste aboard right now, you are only getting one. I'm sorry. Oh, <laughs> one robot. We need it as evidence, right? Do you want yeah. the same model as Buddy? Yes. Absolutely. We grab this guy, bring him aboard. Um, number two, just kind of looks at the three of you. Is security handled? Handled, granted. He gets out his fucking micro jack and he just immediately plugs into this robot and he's gonna try to sever it from mainframe. Mm. Um, yeah. Cool. Yeah, that's why we got it for evidence. You sprint out sure, sure. onto the, yeah. the hangar bay, looking around like, okay, there are no fire, like emergency pulls, anything like that. that oh, you can I don't even bother trying Fuck to it. for that. I'm grabbing explosives off of my belt. So I'm just like, lob it down the hallway. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Oh yeah, I don't give two shits about this thing. You did not roll enough. You get out in the hangar bay, and it's at that point a door opens on the far side. Cease and desist. Oh! You are in violation of protocol. Eat shit. <laughs> you throw it, it raises its, uh, its wrist-mounted cannon at you. Reva assists you, right? Yeah. She gets in the doorway, full tactical leans, oh. shoots it once, just so that like, she doesn't pierce its armor. She pings it, and it stumbles. It fires stray. You throw the grenade not far off from it. The weapon goes off. The entire, like all the doors close. There is a YH, war there's one droid in the hangar bay with you guys. And you see every service droid turns to the sound of the explosion. And then they turn to the war droid. 
You grab one, get it in the ship, you sprint back. Reva's giving you cover fire. Brave little soldiers. <laughs> yeah. Poor I'm not buddy. gonna cry over these things. About like <laughs> two dozen, like two dozen of, of the myriad oh. cargo droids. Holy Night of Ian. Oh, oh shit. God. Thank you for the rerolls. Oh it is God. two apiece. Once oh more. God. I yep. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> this re ups us. Re ups oh. me at least. I have three now. Oh. You are the best. Um, about two dozen of the myriad cargo, like small cargo droids, swarm towards the YH. Who just just starts letting loose, and they're getting, they're getting like absolutely like they're getting one shot annihilated. Um, but they all start just like ramming it in its shins and stuff. Um, we'll see. This is an attack roll. Brave little soldier. Swarm. This is the last one they've got. I'm rerolling for them. I was gonna yell. Yeah, this is for guys. Buddy. Natural twenty. <laughs> <laughs> okay, shit. Uh, they knock it over, and it take yes, like take a second to stand back up, but they're all still just like colliding with it while it's trying to stand. It's just like swinging around, taking heads off with its uh, fucking hands, uh, just like trying to shoot them. But it's prone now. Uh, there's an active fire raging uh, <laughs> on that other half of the hangar bay. Amrit comes back to you. I uh, engines go. We need to get everyone out of the cargo bay now. All four of the right legs are at their maximum, sir. Let's get out. Everyone, they're engineering. <laughs> we all get the fuck out of the cargo don't bay. Don't need to tell me twice. Uh. I get straight to the gun. <laughs> yep. I man gunnery. I man the shit out of gunnery. Hi, sister. Who? How do you say Alana. it? Chris, Alana? Are Alana's Alana. watching. Nay, Alana. Thanks for following. Hey. hey. I didn't know Alana was going to watch us tonight. She texted me. <laughs> OK. Uh, you guys are in here. You just missed all the robot drama. Two's not at risk of any like backblast. Two is at exceptionally right. less risk than you guys. But still at it, risk. It could fuck with him, but. We don't need him to be shooting out the back. It's fine. Yeah, OK. He's trying to jack into the robot anyway. Yeah, he's got a, he's got a handle. Cool. He's gonna Slide. he's gonna hold That's this central hallway for Eva. Oh, I am bridge. Yeah. You need to be on bridge because yeah. you can't be in cargo bay right now. Yeah. Kill. I'm gonna put you in hydroponics. Make sure life support holds. Blast off, motherfuckers. Yeah. We make an emergency exit. We actually all succeeded. Incredible. I didn't expect every single person to succeed. I thought more than one person might need an assist here. Thanks for those rerolls. But you had a job that even if like even without the assist, it was yeah. not essential. I was just doing some extras. <laughs> Well, well, worst case scenario, if you had failed like... and Reva could not assist you, we would have had to engage the YH. <laughs> Send that being said, we in the ship hear the horrible roar of some kind of malformed beast. Nope. And the engines roar to life. You, you got to blow open the doors to the cargo bay. Glow. Oh, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> you blow open the cargo bay doors. Half of the remaining robots get sucked out into the void of space. <gasps> and us with it. And you guys <laughs> blast through and out of the station. Sanctuary and Abyss. Hopefully whatever that thing was, too. Ooh, whatever that thing was. <laughs> we leave. I need a mental save from everyone. No. Everyone. Uh -oh. Uh oh. If you viewed the black hole, you are at a minus one penalty. Oh. It's not the AC 10. I need to reroll. Oh. I get a reroll. Oh, shit. I need a reroll. So, <laughs> so, oh, yes, baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, everybody, everybody, everybody having a good time. <laughs> I'm like an 80s action hero, man. Oh, God. Oh, no. You failed. You failed? With the minus one, I fail. Fuck. Yeah, same. same. Saves are it on was a enough. D20. It was enough. We looked at the block. Yeah, saves are on a d20. Saves are on a d20. Oh, d20? Saves oh, are a straight gosh. d20 roll. Oh, not thank gosh. And you just have to be equal your number. Yeah, because my... Ah! Ah! Natural 20. Yeah, my saves are six, and I rolled a six, but I had a minus one. Same with oh. that. Same. Oh, 15 <sighs> on the die. I needed to be 13. <laughs> Life okay, is good. Level two, baby. <laughs> Captain Air is good. 
Does anyone have a reroll for Dabari? Yes! <laughs> I'll, I'll, take, I'll take Odie's. Odie's is gone. <laughs> Dabari's good! Please! Oh, somebody's good. Reva! I need good. to be good. Okay. Is it just us? I think so. Well, maybe. Nora? Nora! Good. Amrit? And Amrit. Amrit. Good! Okay! <sighs> I think it's everyone! Woo! Oh, Woo! Woo! <laughs> Having a bad we time, having a bad time. Zoom out of station. Both of you, I think you'll be fine. I think you'll be fine here. Mental damage? Oh. Oh! Oh! Ooh. You both take 14 points of psychic damage. Oh! I mean, that would have like almost killed you. I have 10 hit points. Oh, that would have knocked no. you out. Yeah. 14, you are good, yeah? Yeah, I got 40. Okay. 14, but you have like 80. Yeah. Eh. Ish. 70. Well, how much do you have now? Uh, total. How about, total. What do I have now? Total. Total hit points. 97. Oh, you're fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> what are you getting so weird about that for? No, I, was, I wasn't fine. sure what was being asked well, of me. Uh, <laughs> what are your wisdom scores? 14. 15. Your wisdom score decreases to 13. Oh. oh. Yours is fine because you because the amount of damage you took. Okay, thanks. You're good. And you both hear a voice. Ah! And you are compelled, though you cannot see it, to gaze back towards that singularity in space. Mm. You hear it in your minds. Mm -hmm. That is not dead, which eternal lies. No! And with strange eons, even death may die. Lord Zorazor Zubanef Arkoth. And you begin to hear it just growing louder in your minds. I need one more mental saving throw from each of you. Still, minus one penalty. That's one of my favorite Christmas songs. I know. <laughs> I read it. Oh, oh, you better watch out. I need a reroll. Oh, God, I need a reroll. You better watch out. You better watch out. Oh, God, you better watch out. Oh, you better watch out. You better watch out. Oh, reroll. Fuck. Come on, Doc. Come, come on. Come on. Come on. 12. Good. Ah! Good. <laughs> Neither of you pass out. This sucks. He's in the bridge and he's just like. Sucks, man. Like turned around. No. Looking. He is like bleeding from his eyes. Yeah, but he's also turned around towards the singularity trying to look yeah. for it. Yeah. Yeah. The captain like turns to look at you, but you don't hear his words. Mm -hmm. It is like everything your mind can do not to pass out immediately. Awesome. But you, when you come to, you are like clutching your forehead, kneeling on the floor of the bridge. Nice. And your eyeballs are bleeding. Nice. Amrit, oh no, you're alone in hydroponics. <gasps> yeah, you're having a similar experience, but there's no one here with you. Oh, shit. You've just him. like collapsed in the hydroponics room, in oh. the life support room. Uh, Nora hate that sound. comes running out of uh, this room, comes running to, to you where you are now, and just, yeah. Oh, this is you're, great! Shh, man, yeah, you're, 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 you're like, get some, right? <laughs> um, and she just runs to you. Where are Kosum and, Sh Kosum and Shecky? Uh, you got their logs? Bridget. Yeah, she runs. Um, she immediately goes to check on you, sees Captain Ayers with you. I go. <laughs> she runs, she goes to check on Shecky. It's a security threat. We get, away, going on. we get away from Sanctuary Station. I can't move from my spot. <sighs> it's gonna have to be renamed. We get far away. The spoopy suck. Sanctuary Station. Are we gonna contact anyone about this right uh, 100%. now? 100%. I'm compiling evidence right now. Well, we, we should talk to our handler. Cool. I don't trust the handler. <laughs> I go above his head. Uh, what is like space police? Ooh. I don't. You want to talk to the CIA or the FBI? Like the FBI. It's an internal investigation, right? It's in system. I don't know if you have access to to communications with the Solaris Order. There's not just like a uh, Crime Stoppers Anonymous for them or something, you know. I mean, you could just contact the Cygnus Association because they have yeah. a they have a federated navy. Yeah. Oh boy. Yeah, we call them. And I will give an update to CM99, of course, as well, with all of the same information. But I do not trust him 
to send it forward because of my theories about his associations. Oh, understood. So you tell a third party, you tell the Cygnus Association, this is what's happening here? Shoot, I'll, I'll blast it out on BuzzFeed if I have to. Oh, like, you could just contact the Human Alliance. Yes. This is just a human yeah. operation. I will send it to the UN. Yeah, you send yeah. it to, you literally send it to the UN. They're not going to do anything but write a paper about it, but you know. Actually, they'll do something about this. It makes me feel this. better. Uh, this, is, this is a very important thing that's going on here. Okay. You send, you send word to the Human Alliance, and then you send word to the pack through CM99. You get him on the bulk. Uh, he, you give him all the information. All right. Everyone on your end okay? Uh, couple injuries, but we're alive. <clears throat> Understood. Oh, uh, package is delivered. No problem with cargo. Job's completed. We didn't pick up on food, but uh, we got enough to make it back. All right. We can make a resupply run if you need one. Could keep, you, like, keep uh, us up to date. is there, like, an intercept course that you could have someone dock with us? <clears throat> we could plot one. God, I'd appreciate that. It'd kick us in the ass. We'd prefer if that were a last resort, but uh, we could do it. Well, I'll uh, keep calling. All right. Keep your navigations in contact with the yards, okay? Always do. Good work out there. See you 99 out. I'd like to roll a notice. Did, mm -hmm. Is he earnest in his good job? <laughs> oh, woo! He seems pretty earnest. Okay, 13 he, total. He, he did seem actually... Like, like, worried about us? Surprised to hear about what uh -huh. happened at the station. Okay. You know, there was a, a, there was a veneer of professionalism yeah. to where he wasn't like, oh my god, are you okay? Right. But he was just like, understood, sit rep, you know? He wasn't like, disappointed <laughs> to he, hear from me. <laughs> yeah, he wasn't disappointed to hear from you. Okay. What are you doing alive? Yeah. Mm -hmm. he, was, he did seem surprised at and least. And he did seem surprised. He didn't seem like, yeah, we thought that might happen kind of thing. Okay. All right. You and Captain Aira get that sorted out with them, but we still have these two who are in medical bay. Bleeding well, from Aura, my eyeballs. Is that you? Yeah, you wake up in the hyper hypersleep tubes. You are not in hypersleep yet, but you guys, they they take you both to those tubes, put you under, hmm. and when she wakes you back up, uh, he's there. Droid's there. Uh, you, you're probably there. They actually, she needs you there. Yeah, I'll be there. Reva can take navigation. <laughs> Hi. How, how are uh, you feeling? Good what morning. Happened? Uh, you were both struck by a very awesome wave of psychic energy. I wouldn't describe it as awesome. It was I'm sorry. I mean awesome in the most literary sense. I think I, I bled from me eyeballs. You were yeah, bleeding. Yeah, you did. You were in, experiencing everywhere. internal bleeding. Yes. Ears too. Yeah. Oh. I can tell you it hurt. What? Was it the... Was it the black hole? What? I don't know. Amrit's not really capable of reading that kind of thing, and it's just not what... It's... You know, uh, I had to take some of these things with blessings, at least I'm still breathing. You guys are okay. I'm gonna put you under for hypersleep so we can try to figure wait, out. Wait, wait. Shaki, it said something. Did you hear it? I prefer not to think about that. I was just about to ask if you experienced anything. Do what biopsionics do you have? Uh, Armor can't help with this. It's really just on you. Yeah, I have Master to Core. Sorry? Uh, the. Uh. I have, yeah, I have uh, mastered. I can't sound that word. I mean, I've been mastered succor. Yeah, yeah. Oh, is that a healing one? Uh, yeah, I can use my ability without spending anything. It's just a. Uh, but. Do you have anything that heals or interacts with brains? Yeah. It's a passive well. thing. I mean, to be blunt and honest as I should be, yes, I did in fact hear something. For what it said, I am still trying to forget, and I'm going to pay no mind to it. I've been attacked before like this, but not, not this intense. I feel like 
My thoughts are all kind of jumbled. It was so loud. It was like every language at once and then like nothing I've ever heard before. Oh, if it has his message and the rest, I can go die with that message too. I could probably help you guys with something. That'd be great, actually. I won't say no if you got something up your sleeve. Wonderful. Wonderful. Uh, I'm really not feeling with... Yeah. yeah, you know, I got you, I got you, I got you. I... Koshin, like, like, asks for Nora's pad or something so he can, like, try to type out what he heard. Like, I'm going to grab onto your shoulder. And you're getting four hit points. Mm. Roll. Yeah, I was gonna say, do you want to roll to see how much it's you remember? Also, <laughs> roll a flat. I can't hide that really. High. Roll a flat. Uh, roll no oh, for wait. me, actually, with wisdom. Yeah, no with wisdom. Okay, let me. What do I add? Add. I think it's a zero. Oh no! So it's a minus one if you don't have anything, right? Yeah. Mm. With wisdom. Mm -hmm. So it, no. it cancels out. Zero. So. I'm oh. Woo! Twelve. I'm gonna confuse real quick. So for the healing, it says level two as a level one. Healing is 2d6 plus 2, but it says level 1 as a level 0. Which one do I follow after? What's your level for biosonics? 1. Use the level 1. So 2d6 plus 2. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Never mind. I'm going to give you more. Uh, 7. 9? It's not enough to restore your, your wisdom damage. Oh, I figured. You may. That's you're real nice. They're going to need to take you back to the Terminus Yards and do a full medical evaluation on you. But Nora tells you, you may never fully recover from whatever just happened. <laughs> like I said, I'm still breathing. That's good, right? His brainwave activity is different, but it's not... It doesn't seem like he's in any kind of danger. It's just different. I can kind of agree with that. Uh, Yours too. My ticker's talking at the wrong rate. You, that makes sense. You may have just experienced some heightened state of po cosmic apotheosis. A what? Something bad. Uh, it's just brain chemistry changes when people experience reality in a way that is unfamiliar to them. Back before humans were commonly traveling through space, astronauts would come back to land changed just because they had seen things that had been incomprehensible to them before that point. I think whatever you experienced might have permanently altered the chemistry of your brains. Right now, other than the hemorrhaging, I, I can't really say much. Keep an eye on it. Hey, uh, Court. Um, Court. Take good care of her. I'm not going to be a threat to nobody in this group. You don't have your shotgun on. Oh, yeah. oh <laughs> you're unconscious. Oh, yeah, you think like I left that on your head. <laughs> you're having a fucking laugh. <laughs> <laughs> you go reach for your shotgun, it's not there, Take and I just pat it on my own hip. Yeah, I got you, buddy. I guess thank you. You are unwell. You will be cared for. Good. What, was that two that said that? Or? It was two. Mm -hmm. oh. Thank you. Thanks, two. We are not naming our robot four. It is four. No. Which it is, is already four. Aiden. God damn it. <laughs> two named it four. He's good at pattern recognition. Stop. <laughs> Forest. Four dash Iden. Aiden. <laughs> now, if two had his old name, he might have named it Blinky, but... Aww. Aww. Comes to the that question, protocol <laughs> To the question for the duration of the trip and the rest, you said something about cryo sleep or whatever they got going? I don't think it'll be permanent for the rest of the journey. I just, for now, I'm going to put you under. Well, um, we'll bring you back for Thanksgiving. I do have a redundancy plan in my locker and the rest. Uh, beard's cold. He just gives you it. And uh, that's the what I had rooted for this trip back. Don't you worry, Shucky. They won't keep you under for too long. They can't do without your cooking. <laughs> well, there's plenty of other like rations that aren't too bad in the rest. It's not the same, and you know it. 
Four and two will be taking over your duties as cargo manager. We'll make do without a steward. Okay. It shouldn't be long. I just need enough time to do more analysis. Well, in a way, it might help. Not getting any younger. <laughs> I'm sorry. Thanks for the help. I'm trying my best, buddy. She Nothing just, like, you did. puts her hand on the fucking, like, glass around mm -hmm. the cylinders that you're in. And I, I rolled that. I rolled a 12 on that no. You remember exactly what you heard. Okay, so I type it in. At least the, pad. the parts that were discernibly Because I'm assuming they already took mine off. Were comprehensible. They will, <laughs> she's going to check it against the database, yeah. and she will come upon very uncomfortable. Well, I mean, it, the human alliance Ooh. or someone needs to know about this. Yep. So. It's going in the packet. That is yeah. not dead, which eternal lies. Do you need healing? And with strange Pop. eons. I mean, I'm going in the cryo tube. I'm pretty funny that it's knocked out. I can heal you. If you want, you can, yeah. We can do that. It can have its message and keep it dead. Orbit. I want to send a link to that song in the Discord. <laughs> my favorite. I really want to just duct tape like 80 grenades into one big bundle and just throw it down the ventilation shaft. Interdimensional copy pasta. You get seven. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I need welcome. D12s from the two of you. And I need members. mental saving throws without penalty Ooh. from the two of you. Awesome. Hey, let's look at one more reroll. Hopefully, I won't need it. I won't need it. I have a natural 20. Woohoo! I did it. <laughs> 11? <laughs> Do you need a reroll? <laughs> not on circumstance. Oh, not on circumstance. You know. <laughs> let's, 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 let's. Things do not go as well as we might have hoped. Cry. We make the rest of the journey. We get back to Terminus Yards. With, we don't need a resupply. Okay, all we right. do slingshot dusk, and we do make it on almost record time. Yeet. What? Shecky wakes up about a month later. Koshin wakes up not very long before we get back to station. Yeah. Out for 10 months. Well, she keeps you in hypersleep. You succeeded your save. Mm hmm. Nothing else awful happens to you. Mm -hmm. But I had abnormalities there was that just, needed to keep me under. There was just always something wrong. Got it. Why'd you have to roll that high, Ian? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I'm innocent. <laughs> I saved your ass. <laughs> Are awoken. And you awaken. spend, you know, the rest of the nine months doing your job. But whenever you're laying up in your sleep pod in the ceiling of the uh, kitchen, just alone. You have that hum of the engines and the general sounds of the ship at work, but you just say it. He has a new habit of having earbuds or earphones on. He starts playing some sort of Pandora classic over it. Some fucking uh, yeah. bluegrass, <laughs> heavy banjo. Yeah. Not a banjo anymore. Anything to cover up that noise. It works for a while. Ugh. I hate that. <gasps> Shecky. Your dreams are strange. You don't have any information to occupy your mind in hypersleep. You're just asleep. Mm -hmm. You are running through great grass fields. Mm -hmm. There is a swift sunrise. And you know that silently they stalk as they always have. Blank, marbly white eyes. Thick, rubbery, blue skin. 
<laughs> you feel yourself running with them mm. through this green place. And it feels natural. Mm. Like, you are, like you could be one of them. Interesting. The claw that hangs around your neck is your own. Mm. And you partake in the silent stalking of the Akata. You hear a voice in your head before you are awoken. Mm -hmm. You have always been one of ours. And you awaken from hypersleep. And you do not feel the time has passed. But when you get out, you are shaky and weak. Mm -hmm. You've been, your body's been stimulated artificially. So that Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Villain. <laughs> you know, you were fed, you were given water, um, and your muscles have been maintained as well as is possible. Mm -hmm from such artifice. But uh, you were not given the regular breaks that people in hypersleep, hypersleep usually need. Mm -hmm. Good thing I'm a tough boy. You're a tough guy. <laughs> when you both get, when we all get back to station, you two are both immediately remanded for medical care. You're gonna spend some time doing physical rehab not on Terminus Yards, mm -hmm. but between missions, they're sending you home. Mm -hmm. They're sending you back to Gaia. Terra. Terra, sorry, my bad. They're sending you back to Terra, and you're gonna spend time with gravity, and, you know, solid, solid land again. Yeah, good. That's a hell of a stripper name. <laughs> solid land. I'm going, I'm going home to spend some time with gravity at the solid land. <laughs> Yo, solid, solid land is uh, it's solid. Dap Zanigan's favorite stripper. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Terra Firma. Yeah, Terra, Terra Firma. Firma. Ow, ow. We'll know Dap Zanigan one day, I'm sure. Novus Mundus. I hope not. I'm trying. <laughs> Guys, I'm trying to not die. Uh, we got back. We're good, we man. Yeah, we're we didn't good. lose a single person. That's another successful mission. <gasps> successful mission. You have It's getting harder two to keep left. you guys alive. I'm not gonna lie. You and Captain Era <laughs> You and Captain Era <laughs> both have good. two left. We have to keep you entertained. <laughs> Tabari has one after that. Wow. So we're gonna lose three crewmates in the next three missions. No. One way or another. From retirement. Yeah. True. Oh yeah. Yeah. Calm down, Ian! <laughs> From retirement. How many do you have left? I mean you're ten. Ten left, yeah, okay. Now ten. And you got two. Oof, clock's ticking. Oof. Guys. That's six down now. We get back to Terminus Yards. Terminus Yard, we are all uh, relieved. We, we did our job, and we did it well. And you guys are all um, updated personally through uh, company communications. Fighters were uh, dispatched to Sanctuary they Station. A black hole. <laughs> they were dispatched to the Sanctuary in Abyss. The station was missing. Whoa! As in, uh, the entire station was just not in the system. I should have blown it up! I could have done it! <laughs> or maybe they just descended into the hell that they wanted to create. Yeah, but that means that they got out. Well, That's going to cause out some... Of a black hole, though. Something does. You got a brain worm from it. I, I don't know if it's a... Don't you act like things can't get out of a black hole all of a sudden. Can't? <laughs> That's not... <laughs> I'm no scientist, sir. I don't make these things up. <laughs> I just know what I feel. Should have killed them all. Speculation so far. We... Speculation. This is out of character, guys. Good fucking job, by the way. <laughs> Second mission. <laughs> we got out. We didn't fight the two uh, YH-21 assault droids, which fighting two would have been a, a lethal battle. Fighting one would have been a very damn near lethal battle. 
We didn't encounter the horrid flesh abomination, the chthonic beast from below. <gasps> yeah. Because imagine right. if we were in that room and actually got sucked down with like only our torso left and it gobbled you up. Yeah. We did not learn what was really going on with Vela and the stars from beyond time. Mm -mm. That is not my fucking problem. <laughs> it's not. And we didn't we didn't save Darwin, who was as much a victim of I know, that situation that's like the worst part. That's like like Chucky, that like probably hurt him a lot too. Is just like yeah. I can't get I you can't after really my crew and the rest, and him. I need to do this. And he, like Darwin. he wouldn't have shot him and let, like as soon as he said like his non human bits and he's like, he's right, you can replace those. Hey, Fuck. And now idea. the sanctuary in Abyss is yeah. gone. To spaces unknown. May it stay there. <laughs> yeah. I'm cool with not knowing. <laughs> and still in those quiet hours, you hear the faintest sounds that just don't belong. And your dreams, now and again, are still dark. And when you gaze upon those beasts in your long green pastures, mm -hmm. under that swift sunrise, you feel like you may have been one of them, maybe in another life. Mm -hmm. Thanks for playing, guys. That was the second mission for the USC Inevitable. This has been Requiem Vast Horizons. I hope you guys are having fun. Oh, yeah. I know I'm having fun. Mm -hmm. It's a good Friday night. Guys, make sure you tune in Monday night for My Hero Academia, Dungeons and & Dragons, and Wednesday night for more Mad King. Woot woot! But in the meantime, I had a great time. I hope all of you had a great time. This has been D20 House. Over and out. Good having you.